Uh, you can see it is pretty cold out here. I'm taking, I'm rolling this, um, this ball on my bottom of my feet to release all the tension on my feet from the morning last night, the day before. It feels good, not gonna lie. Um, it hurts if your feet are super tense down there. But uh, it was good. Us is cold today. Uh, I rarely wear sweats. I started wearing sweats once it's like getting cold because about to get winter time in California. So yeah, uh, excuse the mess in my car. These are the essentials that I have. Um, I have my running shoes. Um, the Hoka's. I have a Garmin heart rate monitor that goes in my chest. My GoPro that I'm gonna use today for the run. Gotta use chapstick, when, especially when you're running in the cold. And then a water bottle for the run, which comes in clutch. Um, that's all I really carry with me. And then my keys and my shorts. I'm back, I'm back on my shorts, so it's not that bad. But yeah, let's get ready and let's go on this run. Sorry if it's bouncy, but we're part of like half a mile in. And the good thing about when it's cold, it feels really good to run. So it feels good. I had two days off for this run. So my legs feel good. As of now, we just gotta find the rhythm. We'll find it. So, mile down, not gonna lie, couldn't find a rhythm, um, sorry about the camera angle, uh, couldn't find the rhythm the first mile, uh, my right ankle is pretty really stiff right now, so that's not a good sign, I'll keep you updated, hopefully it's a good run, but, Right now it's bothering me a little bit, not gonna lie. So. Two miles in. Still bothering me a bit, not as much. I think we should be good. Yeah. So, I made a mistake. I'm supposed to be running four miles instead of five. I gotta stick to the training plan, so I had to change my route because the route we were taking it's about five and a half. So how to change it it should be four miles with this route i don't have my phone on me to measure it i think we'll be good though ankle still bothering me a lot so it's a tough run so i just finished the run it was probably one of the worst runs out of the four or five weeks I've been training. Let me double check how long we've been doing it for. Four weeks, so probably one of the worst runs. This is four weeks of training. Um, it was really shitty. Uh, the ankle was killing me a lot. But right now I just checked my Garmin. So I did four miles in 45 minutes, which is pretty bad. Uh, my mile times, first mile was a 10.52, second mile was a 10.59. Um, the third mile, it was supposed to do a half a mile, which was in five minutes. And a full mile in 12 minutes, that was bad. That's when my ankle started killing me the most. Uh, I stopped here and there. 
due to the fact my ankle is hurting me, I am not trying to get hurt early into into this mar this half marathon training. That's the first thing. That's the last thing I want is to get hurt early on. But it was one of the worst runs that I've ever had these past four weeks. So it sucks. It's it sucks that it was like this. Pretty disappointed. Pretty disappointed in myself on um, how the run went. But uh, I just gotta leave it in the past and get ready for Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm off, it's Monday. Uh, usually I'll just do like a walk, a mile walk or two mile walk with my dog just to get the legs moving on the off days. That's what I usually do. But uh, yeah, man, tough, tough run. Can't let it phase me, can't let it bring me down. We all have bad runs here and there. This one was pretty bad. Uh, I'll show you on the app how fast I was running. I started off a little too fast and I just kept that pace, which was not good, you know. Uh, usually the first mile, I take my time, get a rhythm going, but no rhythm this one at all. Nothing, no rhythm at all. So yeah, um, so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow or maybe later tonight, I'll show you guys what I do after my runs. But yeah. Yeah, so um, usually, after my runs, I'll come out, take my dog walking uh, around, around my block. Take out the sweats because we're getting a little warm now. But yeah, like I said, the run today was not it. It was not it. It was not it. Can't be mad about it. I mean, a little frustrated, but I think positive. Shit happens. We all have our bad days. It is what it is. Yo, what is up guys? Manuel here, and it is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Um, today was a busy morning. I didn't record yesterday. I had work all day. Um, but today I had to go to DMV. You know how that goes. DMV ain't fun at all. But uh, today I ran. Today was just a quick mile, but it was at 100% um, effort. So I ran it in eight minutes and 19 seconds. Um, I think my fastest mile is eight minutes and eight seconds, I think. So I'm getting faster. Um, I didn't say in the first video, in the beginning of the video, um, that uh, I did start running for a bit. Uh, I was running consistent for a month and I stopped running. Um, kind of got a little down on myself. Uh, kind of, I was aiming for a goal and, you know, Things wasn't working, and unfortunately, I let um, all the bad thoughts get to me about running, and I gave up on running. But like I said, this is our fourth, well, fifth week. About it. this is our beginning of fifth week of us of running consistently. Um, so it feels good. My body feels good. Um, one thing I do gotta work on. Um, I'm sorry if you see me sweating and everything, but uh, one thing I do gotta work on is uh, the eating. Um, eating wise. Sorry that I'm sweating again. I legit just got back from my run. But uh, eating-wise, I've been, you know, 50-50. I kind of had, had to cut it down. Um, sometimes when I work, uh, I get food out. When I'm home, I get food out sometimes. But uh, I just have to cut it down, diet down. Weight's been going down about a pound a week. Sometimes a little bit, ha um, half a pound due to the way I'm eating. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I wear um, when I run, my shoes, my watch, everything that I use to go running. Uh, and uh, I didn't say it last time, but I'm gonna start um, uploading about, it. I'm gonna do it once a week for now. Look at, look at the sweat, that's crazy and nasty. And one thing by me, I sweat a lot, like a ton. Like, I'm not even kidding, I sweat way too much. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload once a week. Uh, I'm going to try to drop every Friday or Saturday, and the video is always going to start on a Sunday because Sundays are my long runs. So it'll start on a Sunday, and then it will end uh, my days before my long run will be a Friday. So it'll end on a Friday. But once, you know, I get the YouTube videos going, um, I'll start doing twice a week, maybe three times, but I think twice a week would be fine for um, my fitness journey. So this will be episode two. 
But yeah, just go on and just check the um, what kind of stuff that I wear. Watch, hat, etc. running shoes, let's do it. Oh yeah, one thing before we go, check out all the running stuff. I forgot to forget. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I take before my runs, after my runs. Um, just show you guys what I take uh, supplement wise. So we'll do that first before we do all the equipment and stuff. So like I said, I was gonna show you guys what I take. So this is G1M Sport. I take this every single time uh, I do a run. So as you can see, it has 20 grams carbohydrates, 350 milligrams of sodium. And I take this right before my run, I wanna say 15 or 30 minutes before my run. Um, I drink it, keeps me nice and fueled. And on my long runs, I do have the Daniel Sports drink. Um, it kind of goes on my hand, I'll show you. Let me switch my hand. Goes on my hands like this, fits perfectly um, when I'm running, it's not heavy at all. So when I do my long runs, I take this with me. And well, you guys seen the video that I take this with me while I run, but on my long runs, I'll do half a scoop of G1M Sport. And since I'm sweating on my long runs, I use electrolytes. Um, as you can see here, another 500 milligrams of sodium and zero sugar. This tastes pretty good. Um, depends on how I feel on my runs. Uh, I drink that after my runs. Um, strong reds. This is, so after my runs or even before I go running, it just depends. Um, I do take this with strong greens before my morning start. Um, I usually do it right in the beginning of the morning when I wake up or right after my run. Mix those two together, amazing, fabulous, amazing drink. But yeah, BPN, go get your stuff there. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can buy stuff there. Um, they just finished having their um, <clears throat> oh my god brain fart no, they just finished having their black friday deal there you go so that was good it was 25 percent off everything but g1m sport electrolytes strong red strong greens so let's go look at the equipment we use so when i first started my fitness journey um when i started actually running i was running with regular nike shoes um i forgot the what it was called to be honest with you but then you know i got into running more i'm gonna go buy some hokas as you can see uh i'll show better pictures of it but the the other Hoka Bondi 8s, very comfortable as you can see. Um, pretty thick soles, um, pretty cushiony. Feels like you're running on clouds. Uh, these I would recommend. Uh, it's kind of narrow, um, right in the, like the middle of the feet. It's pretty narrow. Um, it depends on everyone has different size feet and how they feel about it. But I personally like it. Um, I'm gonna get new shoes pretty soon. I do not know. Um, for well, for sure they're gonna be Hoka's, but. I don't know what type of hokas they're gonna be. But yeah, and then here we have our Garmin chest strap. Um, you're probably not gonna be able to see it as much, but so this goes on my chest. Let's see if I can move this camera down a little bit. So this goes on my chest right here. Um, I'll just pretend I'm gonna put it on. So it goes on my chest. It's a Garmin heart, heart rate monitor, but a chest strap. Um, on these watches, um, and since I'm bringing up watches, I'll bring up what watch I'm using, but I think I already said it. Um, so it's my, I have a Garmin watch. Um, very, very good watch. Wow. So this connects to this on your runs via Bluetooth. And I'm sorry that you can hear my dog barking in the background. So it comes in handy when you're running because it gives you like your most accurate um, heart rate. So when I'm running, I use that more because say if I use my watch when I first started, um, when I first started uh, the watch, you know, it did its job. It did its job. But uh, when I did use my, uh, when I first bought the heart rate chest strap, um, I noticed that it was probably like 10 beats lower, or five, five to 10 beats lower. So it was a big difference because it, remember, like I said, um, I do s most of my runs um, off of my heart rate. Um, that's on my aerobic, aerobic stages, aerobic runs. So that was big for me. And then here, running hat, um, by VPN. Um, it's kind of wet right now. Like I said, I didn't run. I sweat a lot, so I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nasty. It's pretty nasty holding this. But yeah, those are what I use. The Hoka Banda 8s, chest strap monitor, Garmin watch, hat, 
do have shades there in my car so that you're not gonna be able to see but yeah that's the equipment i use that's that's what i use when i go running um you'll probably see me on thursday so i run my schedule is what well, anyways tuesday thursday fridays my long windows are sundays so sundays are and this sunday i have to kill it because um last sunday was pretty bad um i'll show you guys on my garmin app um how the run felt like i said you guys seen in the beginning of the video it was a hard run it, it was killing me it was kicking my ass i'm not gonna lie but i did figure out why it kicked my ass and i'll show you why on the garmin app so let's get to it so as you can see here um this was uh sunday's run um like i said four miles 45 minutes not good um i'm not too sure how fast i did it last time but as you can see here b between the colors red is super fast you know orange is somewhat fast but as you can tell i started off way too quick so i started here but i started way too quick usually i kind of want to be in the green maybe light blue area but i just started way too quick you know like once again right here still too quick still too the whole run was too quick as you see the blue when it's dark blue there's a light there so i gotta slow down <clears throat> actually no um the blue right here i, was, I stretched out real quick because like once i said in the video my ankle was hurting had to change the route uh, usually i come running down all the way here hit this street come all the way down hit this street and come back up through here but uh it was a four mile run walked here i'm telling you it was just a bad run overall but like i said it's probably because i started too quick usually i don't when i start quick it's not a good run um these are my past runs <clears throat> let's get the yearly so this month november we're at 29 and a half miles last month i did 32 miles so not too bad if you ask me so we're here the six mile split um this is exactly where I want to be right here. As you can see, this is an example. Green. Perfect green. So once again, sorry for my dog barking. Um, green. Light blue. Like right below the green. And that's where I want to be. I want to be consistent. Very consistent. Um, the first mile. So the first mile start ended here. Which is one. Um, first mile is warm up. Kind of-ish. That's... After the first maybe mile, and mile and a half, maybe two miles, that's when I know if it's going to be a good run, how my legs feel and how my body feels. So once again, very consistent, light blue. I kind of want to be not super dark blue, but I want to be in that light blue area or green. As you can see here, green, 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 light blue. Um, it was a negative split um, run. So after four miles, I had to speed up um, because that's just how my plan was that, sat that Sunday. Um, so we started speeding up a little bit. I had to stop here at that light. That light always gets me. Green, green, green. A little bit of orange and uh, yellow, which is not bad because, like I said, we had to speed it up the last two miles. And, you know, ended off. We always try to end off pretty quick. Um, but that's how it's supposed to look from that to this right here. It's not good. So that's. One reason why I did not have a good successful Sunday run. Um, so hopefully this Sunday, you know, let me. I'll show you guys my my schedule. Um, so today, so right here on my Garmin watch tells you my activities. When walking in the morning, you know, shows me, you know, time, pace, all that. Heart rate right now. Body battery. Body battery is big with this app. Uh, you know, where you, when you wear your watch, when you sleep. Um, see, body battery is down 31 points overall. It's a little low for this time of day. No, telling me to relax throughout the day. Steps, floors, sleep. As you can see, stuff for six hours and 51 minutes. Not too good. Not too bad. Not too good. Uh, today's mile time. I uh, haven't rated. It was somewhat moderate. Actually, yeah, it was somewhat moderate. It was, I was pushing a little bit. We can see here, blue. Light blue, green. This is why the green I want, I like to see is green. I don't like to see as much red. But like I said, today was a um, a tired run, as you can see on the top. So it wasn't too bad. You see, we go to our Garmin coach. 
Um, see, we're on our fifth week, five out of the 24 weeks that we're training. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that text message. So, yeah, we started October 24th. Um, and this is all the runs that we've been doing so far. So it gives you coaches. Um, it gives you certain type of coaches that, you know, that will help you, you know, mobility exercises. And they'll tell you, um, they'll send you good stuff about running. So as you can see, today we did the tired run. Uh, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, so tomorrow, we're going to do three miles. Easy pace run. So that's good. I thought on my video, was last week the same? Oh, no, no. Last week I had to change my schedule. So, yeah. So, I did mess up on, like I said, um, my runs are going to be um, Tuesday, Wednesdays, um, Thursday off, Fridays, and then Sundays my long run. And I believe I said it was, I run Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I meant to say Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays. Um, Friday, two mile. Um, see, one mile, easy pace, and then one mile very hard talking should be difficult um this negative split round is going to be my redemption so next week's video title i already know it's going to be called redemption so six miles three miles at easy pace two miles you know run a little harder and then one mile um full out so it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good run uh this uh well you guys will see it next episode but it'll, it'll be a good mile so yeah uh, this is the Garmin app. If it goes from my watch, love it. Uh, I would totally recommend it if you're going to start running and all. See activities, you can see everything. Biking, you can do biking and all. Swimming. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I recommend the Garmin watch. You got the Garmin app. You do all that. You, if you're serious about training, I recommend it. Well, as you can tell, it's already 22 minutes long. And I don't want to bore you guys uh, with a week long of running. So I'm going to cut it to two parts this week. So two videos this week. Like I said, I want to do either between one or two videos per week. So this week we're going to do two. I'm going to upload this today, right now actually. But I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe this video. And I'm glad, even if you're not, this is for me. Uh, this series is for me to see my growth and to my fitness training. But if you're watching... I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.